Hey, what's up, reefers? Nah, not the guy you were looking for, right? The inappropriate reefer will come in a little bit later. But my name's Jim. Telegram on Instagram. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Space Invaders. So as the story goes, back in July of 2017, the inappropriate reefer was running into a little bit of an alkalinity problem. I had stopped over his place to pick up something. I can't remember what it was. Could have been a frog spawn. Or who knows? Tried to talk him out of those mushrooms on the right hand side. But anyway, he offered the space invader. I was a little hesitant. Really didn't want to have that responsibility. Was worried about killing it. But ultimately, I took it and posted on Instagram. It was wandering off. So I brought it home and put it in my display tank. One of the things you have to worry about with space invaders are sweepers. They are death machines. After a while, it appeared as if that space invader was recovering nicely. One thing I tried to do when I took it from the inappropriate reefer was to, to offer it back when it was healed. But he insisted that I keep it. So the deal we worked out was I keep the parent colony and he gets a frag. So when you get the space invader out of the tank, you got to take a little bit of time to take a look at it. Make sure that the area you want to cut generally contains an eye. I think that aids in both healing and then generation of uh, additional mouths or eyes, whatever you want to call it. What I look for is, a, is an eye hanging off the edge, something I can easily get the bone cutters around and, and can get a quick slice through. Sometimes it takes two cuts. For this frag, I selected a flat tile. I think it gives a little more surface area for these larger frags. I dip it in the water just to clean it off, put a little gel super glue on there, and glue the frag cut side down. Generally, I like to use a little accelerant to get that glue to set up quickly so I can get the frag back in the water as quickly as possible. So that was it. I let that frag heal for a few months. The mother colony healed, and I told the inappropriate reefer it was time to pick it up. So here you go. Three hours later. All right, Reefer, so I am now at Jim's house and super exciting day. We're coming here to pick up a frag of the Space Invader. And you may be kind of trying to peek around me and look at this tank, but we're gonna talk about that at a later date. Uh, I'm gonna ask Jim to make a video of it because it's beautiful and I don't think I can do it justice with this camera that I have. But for now, let's go check out the frag. Do you follow me? And right here we got Telegram, Jim, oh, hey. the Master hey. Reefer. Come on now. I'm just a hobbyist. I just have some fun. What we have in here is the 20 gallon long. It is connected to the display and I'm sure we'll talk about that later. But in here, going in, is the frag of the Space Invaders in the way in the back there. Ooh. Healed up, happy, ready to go. That looks beautiful. And then we're gonna throw yes. in a couple extras too. <laughs> Yeah, this guy's been trying to get me into SPS for quite a while. And a bigger tank. And a bigger tank, yes. If you only knew the power of the dark side. So much, Jim. You're welcome. No. Excited. Super excited. Oh my yeah. goodness. Been waiting for this day. Where are you gonna put that? I clear up the space. That's why. Did I, uh, yeah, that's why I sold that ladder. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so there's a whole ridge. So I'm placing first, and then we're gonna find some place for the torch and the other two. Okay. Great. Yeah. Ooh. There goes Lucy. Hey, what's up, Reefers? Pardon my voice. I am apparently down with the flu once again. It's like every other week. But uh, as you can see, I have placed the Space Invader from Jim's tank to this little section right here among the Zoas and Akan Lord. 
figure that is probably the safest part of the tank and previously the economy grew really well right here so hoping that will continue the tradition and hopefully this will grow out healthily um, as you can see right here we're trying to trap the bicolor blenny slowly but surely it's making progress getting closer and closer i went in once or twice today but i did not manage to close the door in time and that's also why you see all these algae al on the glass because i've been using the magnetic scraper to hold the fish trap in place and of course as you can see the male clown has no issue at all going in and out of the trap and same, same with the cleaner shrimps so hopefully just a matter of time before the bicolor blending goes in which i'm sure it is Anyways, today is all about the Space Invader Pactania. I think that's, that's how you pronounce it, right? Space Invader Pactania. Uh, it is looking great, it has been in the tank for about a week. Um, and I also rescaped the tank a little bit. Initially, I was gonna put it right there, but then I figure it's a little bit too close to the uh, hammer. So I moved it down there, I figure it's a safer spot, and it has enough room for grow out. So we'll see how it goes. Many thanks to Jim for taking care of the mother colony as well as fragging me this nice piece. Really looking forward to seeing it grow. And you guys, uh, Jim is a wealth of Im information and he has some really interesting build going on. Be sure to follow him on at Telegram. I'll have the link in the video description below as well. I do believe that he may consider starting a YouTube channel. So definitely drop a comment on his ins Instagram page to encourage him. Now with that said, I do wanna because this video is quite short, I figure I'll add a little bit more to the end of this. Um, so I have a secret weapon when it comes to cleaning out my sump. And I have been using, uh, basically there are a lot of detritus collecting in the sump. And when I'm trying to get some deep cleaning done, I'll pull out this awesome thing. Flashback. Hey, what's up reefers? I apologize. Uh, I was making a huge mess, water splashing everywhere. So I had to take off the shirt. But basically I had to Excuse. pull out, I had to pull out the uh, wet dry filter kick. <laughs> hey, what's up, reefers? Today, I want to show you one of the must have items for all reefers, especially if you have a sump. Well, actually, maybe just when you have a sump because this is a little bit too powerful. This is a standard wet dry, wet dry uh, vacuum from Home Depot. It's called the Buckethead. It costs about like $25, $26. And this thing can suck. Uh, essentially, you can lock into one of the standards uh, Home Depot bucket or any other bucket you got. They got those kind of rich. It sucks up water so fast and all the crap along with it. So today I'm skimming up, uh, I'm cleaning up the sump. It's a huge mess. I had to fix the skimmer, so I figure since I have this skimmer out, I'll just uh, clean up the sump as well. I already did one pass on it, so it's already a lot cleaner. But there are a lot of detritus. Just see it over there. But I actually want to demonstrate how quickly and how powerful this wet dry uh, vacuum is. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna suck up that section and that section, but wa just watch how fast water drops. Don't fat comes in fat. Hmm? Yeah, so I gotta watch out, make sure I don't uh, get the fish in there too. Now the dangerous thing about this thing is that if the water bucket filled up completely, water's gonna start splashing up from the back. No way! <laughs> so you're swimming me. So Emily, just be careful. Thanks. Uh, but I, I, I'm really I'm, I'm, I do it really this slowly way. because this thing's I'm so going fast. This way. All right, ready? This will be quick. This is probably like three seconds. All right. Turn it on. And usually I liquid off the water because they're gonna, some of the water is gonna splash back um, from the tube. And just from that, like two seconds, let me just show you how much water came out. No way. It's really fast. Yeah. Um, so let me finish cleaning the other section as well. Okay, yeah, hand me the camera, I can. Yeah, so there are a lot of uh, detritus back here. This is already a lot better because since I did one, I did one bucket already. So this is probably from two or three months of uh, no cleaning. Uh, so today we're gonna rectify that. And let's just get the water in the hose into the bucket as well. I feel that I probably sucked up a shell here. Let's take a look to see how much how much more room we got. So we got about half bucket just from that four yeah. seconds. Um, so I still got some time. I'm gonna clean up this portion a little bit more, but I wanna make sure we don't suck shell hay up. Yeah. 
Okay. You know what? I just realized something. Right. Shall he is inside? No, 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 no. I don't need to. I shouldn't. Dude, that's dumb. You know how I always turn it off when the thing is still in there? So we'll just backslash. That's why I try to like hold it up and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I could have just keep running, but lift it off the water. Yeah. So suck the remaining from the tube and then yep. run it. Sorry guys, on camera I just realized how dumb I actually am. Okay, people can learn from you. Yeah, <laughs> alright. Let's see, let's see what we got in here. So water's pretty clean. Um, water's pretty clean, which is good. Yeah. But guys, this seriously is one of my secret weapons in terms of like keeping the sump clean. Especially because like the sump is so low, I can't start a siphon, um, a strong siphon. So whenever I really need to clean up some, I pull this little bucket head out from Home Depot. Again, it's like $26. Just go to your local Home Depot or go online and order it. Uh, the bucket is like five bucks. So it's one of the best thing I've purchased uh, in this hobby. All right, guys, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, if I can't answer it, I'm sure others will chime in and I will- I have a question. Uh, yes, go ahead. So is that supposed to do this to the fish tank or this actually for something else? This guy? Oh no, no, this is like just re regular home improvement maintenance. Like mm -hmm. for example, people spill something, they use this just vacuum it up. Oh. Um, and this is called wet dry because it can suck up like wet stuff too. So it's not just like regular dry vacuum. Oh, so this nice. is actually really, really strong. Pretty useful. Here. Apparently now because it's not in a vacuum. Mm. I was like, oh, it's not sticking. But yeah, Ooh. once it's sealed up, it's actually quite strong. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, good All to right. know. Thanks. Bye, guys.